But here's how to remove the ignition coil on a GMC Safari van. This is a 1993 GMC Safari van. The ignition coil is right here next to the distributor cap. Uh, to remove the engine cover, you can watch my how to remove the engine cover video to see that. Um, just unplug the connectors to it. There's the wire connector here. Um, and then there's two plugs on the sides that connect to it as well here. <laughs> and they're held on by these little these little clamps. You can't really see it. Now you can see it. Little clamp that you just need to lift up that keeps it from coming loose. Just get your finger under that clamp and then pull it loose. And we'll put the back one to the back side and the front one to the front side. And then there are two bolts down at the bottom of it. So you can't see much in this video. I apologize for that. That are 3 8 inch. So you just go down here with a 3 8 inch socket and undo them. And then pull the ignition coil out. Well, that's one bolt out. And that's two bolts out. And we're just sort of easel it out of here so you don't have to remove anything to get it out of the way. And the new ignition coil didn't come with this bracket, which is most unfortunate. So I'm going to have to drill these out and then mount the new ignition coil to it. Of course, when you buy something like that, you want to compare the old part to the new part. So. Yeah, looks the same to me. So once you drill out the end of the uh, the studs that are holding this thing together, then it'll pop out and you can take it off. And then you can, um, the kit actually came with some bolts that I can use to bolt the new one on so that you get the holes lined up on the bottom and the ignition coil is sitting between these two pins. All right, putting the new ignition coil on the bracket, you wanna make sure that the holes in the bracket are towards the two plug ends so like that so that the bracket is sticking out to this side and then you put the secondary bracket on top of it like that you stick a couple of bolts through these holes and that's all there is to it and then we'll bolt it down and fire it up all right so here it is the finished product you can see that that's just bolted on I put the long end of the bolt going this way because we've got to have clearance to get the uh, bolts in that hold it to the engine block here. So that's it. Alright, so now we bolt it down. I, I put one in loosely and then I put the other one in. That way I can wiggle it around a little bit to find the hole for the second one. So now we just tighten it down and that is it. Alright, I like to put a little bit of this uh, boot protector, you can get it at the auto parts store, onto the terminal there, just to keep it from getting corroded. I've had my uh, this main wire get corroded before and it's to, so badly that the van wouldn't even start, so I like to protect that. Alright, so these, these two things snap together, you see one of them snaps inside the other, so you have to put the front one on first, like this. Just push it down so that the connector snaps into place there. And then the second one snaps on top of that one and holds itself in and holds the other one in. Pull back against them to make sure that they are tight. And then uh, that's that. Then put your van back together and see if it runs.